What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Tomorrow is CPI. So I figured today we could talk about some trading setups before CPI happens. And speaking of setups that I'm not in, but my trading colleague Frank is in, he picked up oil yesterday and I'm gonna be honest, I'm super jealous about this trade. I'm an oil man. But I also love milkshakes. Because it's such a good pickup. So Frank picked up uh, US oil at 80.80. .80. He risked pretty small in this trade and immediately his signal went flying to the upside. You can actually see the red arrow here is where Frank got into his trade and it was just instant, no drawdown. I love to see those sorts of trades and shout out to Frank for catching that. Uh, we have, you know, again, with CPI tomorrow, uh, in, you know, oil has been moving just really, really strong. And it's cool to see off the daily chart, just such a green chart here, right? I love to see these sorts of moves and I love to partake in them myself. So it's cool to see Frank catch that. Now let's talk a little bit about what I am looking at personally um, going into tomorrow as well as what I'm in today. So first I'll show you guys what I'm in myself. So I'm in NASDAQ off the daily chart. This is a little bit of a longer term trade for me. Uh, I'm still holding this one if it does break through the support level whether it be today or on tomorrow's cpi news number i'll get stopped out so if that happens then all good but if price can actually stay strong i'm looking for a longer term continuation of this upward trend that has been going on for the last several weeks so again uh, i'm tentatively staying bullish nasdaq going into tomorrow's news number Here's a look at the dollar and you can see we made a point here on today's live stream that I did on my channel that if you look at the dollar index off the daily chart, you have this longer term downward structure going on in the chart. And what I wanna point out about this is that if you look at the dollar index, there's been a lot of green recently. There's been a lot of bullishness on the dollar index. In fact, surprisingly bullish, more bullish than I thought there would be. But part of this is because, again, people are factoring into the, the idea that, of course, there's been some credit ratings in the United States that have caused some concern. There's also the possibility that the Fed goes another rate hike. And all of these things are leading to a bullish dollar in the short term. However, all this bullishness on the dollar comes to a big question mark tomorrow. If CPI numbers come out cooler than expected, I will almost certainly be looking to short the dollar, whether it be buying Euro, Euro USD or buying gold or buying the pound USD. These are things that I'd be potentially looking out for. But again, dollar index as it hits resistance is very intriguing as we go into CPI news numbers tomorrow. Speaking of gold, let's take a quick look at gold. And if we look at the four hour chart, I've made this point a couple times recently. I am looking for breakouts on gold. Currently, this chart is very bearish, uh, but again, so is the dollar index. So one of these has to crack at some point. Either gold is gonna just shoot down off of a stronger dollar, or the dollar weakness could actually lend to an upward breakout. The latter of those two options is a scenario in which I can actually see myself taking some trades. So what I'm looking for is, again, you've got some key levels of resistance and I'm looking for breakouts. So if we can get something like, for example, a move beyond these levels here. Now this is of course a four hour chart, so these are longer term ideas. But again, with CPI, this could happen quicker than you might think. So I'm watching for breakouts to the upside on gold to possibly look to buy pullbacks going into uh, tomorrow's CPI number. Now, I do wanna mention also with CPI on the horizon, we are gonna be doing a lot of trading. There's a lot of setups right now that I'll continue to go through today. But if I take any trades and you guys would like to actually get notifications about the trades that are being taken, we are currently doing 25% off this week. As we know, it is a very, very opportunity uh, driven week. We have a lot of trading to do with CPI and PPI. We will be trading both of these sources of events inside of the live room. And if you're not already inside of the group, get 25% off right now if you message us using the link in the description down below. We are looking for more serious traders to join us. If you would like to join, there is a one-time option, meaning you only pay us once to join the community. It is your ticket to join and then you're in. Click the link down below in the description if you'd like more information about that. When you click that link, it's gonna take you to this page here. 
when it says, what can you help? What can we help you with? Just click this and let us know you want the 25% off VIP uh, signals group. And again, this is for subscribers only because if you chat in with us using the link that's in the description, you'll qualify for that 25% off. It's a great time to join us as we are about to go into a really big news cycle, which usually creates some of our best trading opportunities. So I invite you to come join us, get involved with the group as we go into, again, tomorrow's CPI numbers. We also have unemployment claims. I mean, it is a stacked week in terms of stuff to look at. So hope to meet some of you guys inside of the Discord. I am, again, looking at some US dollar index stuff. I'm still trading the US indices. Um, and there's, again, a couple more things I want to go through. So one thing I will say is that of the charts that I'm watching, I'm actually pretty bearish on Euro USD, which you might say, why the heck are you bearish on USD if you're USD bearish? Well, I do like this technical setup, and this is perhaps kind of just a, a little bit of a hedge to what I've been doing. Now, again, I'm long NASDAQ, so if the US dollar moves up, that's going to probably cause my NAS position to go down. So one idea I had was I really do prefer the uh, the dollar over the euro, surprisingly. And if we take a look at the watch list signals tab on the edge finder, you can see why. We get a bearish reading overall on the software. And you can see that a lot of the areas where we're scoring negative is we have a downward trend. Seasonal data suggests that the month of August could be negative for this currency pair. GDP growth, unemployment, interest rates, these things favor the US dollar. And so if there is one thing that I'm kind of bearish on against the US dollar, it would be the Euro. It would also be the Australian dollar. Both of these I think could be opportunities if there is a pop to the other side. So again, I'm kind of going into tomorrow with just a couple scenarios that I'd be interested in trading rather than trying to say, oh, I know exactly what the news is going to do, right? I don't know what the news is going to do. I'm going to be reactive. So if CPI, for example, let me walk you through my game plan here for a second. If CPI comes out higher or lower than expected, I'm going to go through my game plan with you guys here. So if CPI comes out hotter than expected, meaning inflation in the United States is hotter than what people were thinking, inflation rises, right, year over year, I'm going to probably be stopped out of my NAS trade, right, because that would cause the dollar to rise. A rise in CPI is going to cause the dollar to strengthen as investors are going to be worried that the Federal Reserve will need to raise rates further. So my NASDAQ trade is probably going to get stopped out if this happens. I don't know that this is happening. I'm saying if. How can he not know? On the other side, NASDAQ would do really good in this case. So... I don't know what that number is going to be. However, I have my stops in place. I have my price action stuff in line. So I know what I'm going to do in either case. However, if this happens and we get a strong USD, I actually probably look at things like AU and EU a lot closer for some short term bullishness. And if this happens, I stay true to the indices, but I also probably take a look at gold. Okay. So this is my game plan. Tomorrow, with CPI numbers coming out, if numbers are hot, I probably look at some of the USD currency pairs and I look to probably get long the USD in the short term. Now, I want to show you something, guys. Take a look at the dollar index again with me. Remember what I said about this. We're at a key level. Sorry for all the scribbles. We're at a key level of resistance, right? If we get hot numbers, it's possible that we break out and then we start a bigger move higher on the dollar as perhaps investors are fearful that more rate hikes were coming and uh, could cause some dollar bullishness. However, I don't know that that's the case. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm a trader. Traders do not know the future. They manage risk and they play probabilities. So if CPI is hot tomorrow, I look to buy the dollar on pullbacks, especially on things like AU, EU. However, if this level of resistance really holds and we see the trend persist, like I said, I probably look to get short DXY or the dollar, and I'll do that by going long gold, and I predominantly continue to favor the NAS 100. So that's my game plan. Now, I would love to hear from you guys what you think tomorrow will bring. Are you guys bullish USD? Are you bearish USD? Are you trading currency pairs? Are you trading NASDAQ? 
Let's get a little conversation going down below in the chat. I would love to hear from some of you guys on what you are watching tomorrow. And remember, if you'd like to join the community, do so before tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day where things really heat up. Join the group if you'd like to get full breakdowns and notifications of every trade that myself and Frank takes. And we'd love to meet you inside of the group. Message us using the link at the top of the description and we'll see some of you guys in there soon. Thanks guys for watching, see you tomorrow. If you're looking to improve as a trader, we've got some cool free resources here that I wanted to share as we close today's video. Down below in the description, there is a link to join our Discord channel or our Telegram channel. And we also have our website, a1trading.com, where traders can get access to free course material to help you improve as a trader. Remember, we are also live Monday through Friday on this channel around 9.30 a.m. US Eastern, broadcasting most live news events and that sort of thing. So hope to see you there. And also, we do have a couple videos videos here showing up on the screen. If either of these seems like it might be helpful to you, then make sure to click here or here and we'll see you there.